Okay, good evening and welcome to another episode of Late Night with Soul Spice. Trust me, tonight I'm in the mood. And when I say mood, I mean I am wet. And the wetness is unbeatable. See eh? hmm. So, it's a moment of being um, sexy and feeling all the vibe and everything. It is not an easy thing to be here tonight. And tonight I have with me a very special, pretty, hot, ah, I want to finish it. I want to fool me. They carry. You know when you say you you were born with something. What a lot of you buy with money. Okay, I'm not sure she bought that one. It doesn't it doesn't look like it looks real. But we'll find out, don't worry. Anyways, if this is your first time, my name is Hannah Jonathan, aka Soul Spice and Sex Goddess. I'm a clinical sexuality coach and a master sex fan. I said, welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Tonight we're gonna to be talking about a very special deep important topic you heard me special deep and important topic sti and sex i know a lot of you love it when you get laid or when you're on top or when you're by the side or when you're grinding or you're grinding whatever it is but sti it is extremely real like it is very real i know just in the mentality right i know some people don't know yet to they don't know yet to but from next week reality will start to set in when you go to do your test, some of them might not know until after six months, some of them might not know until after one year. But anyways, so now we're going to be talking about STI. We're going to talk about different types and, you know, what you do when you have one. Some, you have no choice to death. Some, you probably might be lucky. Um, please do let your friends know, family, and every other person know that Soul Spice is here tonight. Remember, it's STI and sex. Hmm. You want to listen, no? Before you go and carry something new, oh, I love him. Oh, he's <laughs> handsome. Oh, she's pretty. Uh, you know they show for a face, so you know they show for a face. Anyways, I'm going to go on a break. But before I go on a break, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram. And don't forget to follow us at Sex Toys with Soul Spice on the score. That's our sex toy page. You know what we do there, right? Mm -hmm. Toys for adults like us. Right. Anyways, don't forget to follow us at This Is Pop Central, the only TV station that pops sex to your TV screen. Remember, all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. Hmm. Don't go anywhere because I'm going out to bring in my very special, pretty, hot guest. Like, you don't even want to compare who she is and what she looks like. Are they the same? Don't go in your social with right back. When I come back, we'll find out. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. My name is Anna Jonathan, aka Soul Spice and Sex Goddess. Listen, even though some people are behind cameras are trying to make me feel bad, trust me, the wetness and the happiness in me has taken over. You know, there are certain hormones that you're going to have, and not even when they bash your car, you don't talk to them. Go in Jesus' name. You are fine, I'll be fine. Not because of anything, but this happens especially when you get laid. And not just any kind of lay you. When they lay you well. Ah! <laughs> the kind of hormones there. Even to fight will be a problem. Anyways, so now we're talking about STI and sex. And I have with me a very special sweet guest. See, this particular guest, bringing her in was not an easy task, right? And I'm going to make this clear. She's a woman with two personalities. When you see her on social media, you see someone who is bold, someone you dare not cross her path, someone who is ready to fire. But when you see her in real life, you're wondering, ah, is it not the same woman? This mm. woman is quiet, she's calm, and she's got the body. Mm. Glory. Anyways, join me in welcoming the very first beautiful, hot, pretty doctor. Dr. Adipinkel, welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Thank you so much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, so one of the things that shocks me most about, you know, medical doctors nowadays okay. is that we now have flying medical doctors. In those days, you have to be very, you know, professional, glasses, you know, a few core kind of people. But nowadays, you are having doctors with gold hair, with, you know, <laughs> and we are wondering, <laughs> This is when we go to medical school, you know, because someone like you, you hardly see a medical doctor this way. They are always uptight, you know, serious, serious-minded people. But nowadays, we are seeing doctors that, when they are in their coats, 
and when they're in their out you're like ah, two different people this one really the same person mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing so how how do you feel you know knowing that you are this pretty and you're a medical doctor you don't look like someone who can read anyway really <laughs> Well, the thing, uh, the thing is that we try to, we're not trying to fit into, I'm not trying to fit into a stereotype of, oh, the medical doctors should be particular, because at the end of the day, I'm still at different care. I was still at different care before I became a medical doctor, yeah. and doesn't change, be, becoming a medical doctor does not change who I am or who I was. Yeah. So basically, I'm a type of person that I've always loved fashion. And being a doctor is not going to stop me from loving fashion. It doesn't stop me from reading my books and all that. So how do you love fashion and read your books? Because we feel fashion people, right, are, you know, they are all about, oh, colors and looks and everything. Let me tell you something very interesting about um, medicine. The thing about medicine is that you don't necessarily have to be a genius. I feel like there are other professions that are more difficult. I feel like people that study econs, physics, mm. they have it harder than us doctors. Really? The thing, for you to be a doctor, it's all about consistency, being able to read consistently. That is, if you can read consistently, be disciplined enough to read consistently, then you're good. Because it doesn't require, because the facts are there. You just need to remember the facts mm. that, oh, this is this, this is that. But then other professions, like um, people that study econs, physics, you actually need to know what you're you have to doing. Calculate. You have to calculate. And it's either you know it or you don't know it. Mm. But for medicine, it's more of discipline. Anybody can study medicine. That is just the truth. If you can be disciplined enough. So that means I can study medicine. Anybody. But if I'm going to study medicine, it's going to be the sexual aspect. You know. <laughs> I've heard the, the more. anatomy. Oh the, my God, I've heard the word sex more than I've heard my entire life. Just in the last 15 minutes of being with you. So the thing is, a lot of people feel... When, when they see me talk on social media or they see my video, like, this woman pretends a lot, right? Sometimes when I'm on this show, I've heard people say, ah, my husband said, she just blind, she cannot do it. But mm -hmm. when they now make me real, like, wait, what's the difference between you and her? Mm -hmm. Like, is this how you behave? Even when you're not on, I'm like, this is the real me. Yeah. Whatever you see here is what you see, so. Well, yeah, it's vibe. Like, I, I, I already feel like I've known you for, like, we just met like 15 minutes. Is it up to 15 minutes? We've known, but you just don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I love your personality. Thank you. You can't, you can't be a sex person. I do not love you. As long as you love sex and we are sexual beings, why wouldn't you love me? Fair enough. You Fair know that, enough. right? Fair enough. Okay, so if you're just joining, this is Late Night with Soul Spice. And tonight we are talking about STI and sex. So the thing is this. Before going into STI, STI is a very bad... I think that's to make us feel good, you know... Talk about how pretty she is, you know, her looks, you know, being a medical doctor is not an easy task. But now I feel like, oh my, I think I need to go back to school. I can study medicine. <laughs> From what I've heard, it's just all I need to do is read. Uh -uh. Consistently. Yeah, it's not reading. <laughs> I will read. I'm just reading the, the sex part, the penis, <laughs> you know, the vagina. That one, forget it. If you wake me midnight, I will read it. But you see any other part, I will feel it's very unique. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go down into tonight's topic, right? STI. Now, we just had Valentine, so... Okay. Uh, practically a week ago, right? Tomorrow will make it one week. Because last week, Tuesday, I think it was still shocking me. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Tomorrow is like... 13 years in my life, I'm still feeling like tomorrow is Valentine's Day and everything, you know? But the truth is, last week, a lot of people went down mm -hmm. in the name of love, lust, passion... I can't do without you. Now, tell us about STI. Because we are done with Valentine's Day. We yeah. are done with love. And now, very soon, anytime from this week, reality will it's set in into a lot of people's lives. What you have to say about STI? Okay, for STI, it's a, I'm very happy that we're talking about this because the burden of STI is more in this part of the world. Not because of anything, but because of the, the gap between the sexual... People are not sexually educated in this part of the world compared to the developed world. In the developed world, you have sexual education being part of the, um, their curriculum in school. So they are well, you know, they are exposed to, they, they, they have the knowledge, they are exposed to the knowledge, unlike this part of the world. So, <clears throat> yes, I think for, it's, it's very, um, I'm happy that we're talking about this because people need to know about, about STIs, the, the, the different types 
you need to understand that if you have the symptoms, you should get, because there are some that are treatable, not all STIs, because when people think about STIs, they think about, oh, I mean, oh, it's the end of the world. Yeah, it's I'm not treatable. Die. That's no, it. No. There are, there are so many STIs that are treatable, but then if you delay treatment, that's where the problem comes in. Oh. Not exactly. There are other STIs like gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis that antibiotics will sort out for you. But then the other ones that we, we have issues with are the HIV. But then even HIV should be something that will scare you because why? This is 20, uh, 2024. Yeah. HIV is almost like hypertension. Now, if you have hypertension and you're not treating your hypertension, you would, and you have hypertension that is not well controlled, you will die. You yeah. have cerebrovascular accidents, that's a stroke. You have congestive cardiac failure, you will die actually. So it's the same way with HIV. 2024, if you're taking your antiretroviral medication, chances of you, you would survive. Mm. Because people think that we, we tend to, maybe because of the movies or whatever, people tend to think that, or uh, people tend to think that once you have HIV today, tomorrow is going to end yeah. up as AIDS. First of all, without treatment, mm. if you have HIV, and you're not even taking any antiretroviral medication, it will take almost eight to 10 years for it to get mm. to AIDS. Yeah, exactly, without treatment. And now with your, when you start taking your antiretroviral, you can increase your CD4 count, reduce your viral load. Even the chances of transmission to someone else becomes a problem. No, becomes lower once you're on your antiretroviral. And like this, there's so much um, what a research around HIV now that you would survive. That's just the honest truth. Unless you're not taking your medication, you will mm -hmm. survive. So I just want to make, because I know that a lot of people they they have this um, they check for um, the HIV status it comes out positive. Just want to encourage you because I know a lot of people fall into depression. It's not the end of the world. We're in twenty twenty four. Yeah. There's hope for you basically. So I just think if you have HIV, it's like having malaria. If you take mm. your drugs, I, I I know it's not, but <laughs> it is it is not as bad as we used to see. see. You know because in those days you used to have movies where. You see the person turn into skeleton. You see exactly. the person die. That's you know, the you know, but that's the AIDS. But now, but now you see, you see, you know, people come on live to say, oh, you know, I'm HIV positive. Exactly, and, and you're like, exactly. But then I also don't want to encourage people because yeah. you know, then people were extra careful. Then, oh my God, if I have, yeah. I think the fear was also a bit helpful then because people were extra careful mm. then because they didn't want to die. But now. I feel like people are getting a bit more careless. That I think people are not even people bothered. are not they are not bothered anymore about anything. But they should be bothered because, because you wonder why you have people go to the club, right? You meet someone for the first time and you're getting there. You're not bothered about you know their status. You are not checking anything and yeah. they're like so surprised. I had a one night stand. I'm like, okay, that's good. Condom. I'm like ah, I didn't even remember. I said one day I asked me condom and I'm like, can you imagine? Are you not bothered? I've heard married men say, oh, we cannot carry anything. Hmm. We go raw. That's and I'm wondering, you go raw, but do you ever think of the woman at home? Do you ever think of your children? Exactly. And they're like, ah, no, nothing. Uh -uh. We are, we are, we've been doing it for years, you know, we can't carry anything, right? And then you wonder, are these people ever bothered hmm. about, you know, not just their lives, but the ones they claim to love? Exactly. Or are they just there? Living like you know, let me just enjoy it myself, regardless of if it's going to affect anyone. It's very important for us to also point out the fact that because we always feel like oh, antiretroviral medications are this magic, but people have anaphylaxis reaction. That is, you can have allergic reaction to these drugs. Mm. I've seen someone that actually did not have like um, a medical personnel. Okay. He had a needle prick injury. And to be on the safe side, he took the post-exposure prophylaxis. And mm. guess what? Not HIV killed him. It was the medication that killed him. He ended up in ICU. Yes. So don't think... Wow. It's, yeah. So every... It's, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Mm. Most importantly, prevention will always be better than yeah. trying to take a medication every day for the rest of your life, mm. basically. And then the, going back to the, um, what you just said about their loved one at home, it's very, very unfair because guess what? they would probably be taking the medication because they know that they are now yeah. positive. But they are too ashamed to tell their, to tell their partner. And that person is going down. Mm. Do you understand? So that is the fear. That is the problem. So that's why we always want, want most times we, we need you to call your partner in for counseling as well because it's, it's very, very unfair. 
for you to know your status, sorting yourself out, and you leave and your partner. Yeah. You know, I remember one time I had a case when I was um, handling, you know, um, a couple some time ago. They were not really my client per se. They were someone else's client, but you know, they were moved to me. And one of the issues, you know, that we found out um, for that week was the fact that the man came home. You know, he was so happy and he had sex with his wife. And then the next morning, he woke up and he had rash all over his penis. Oh, wow. I'm talking about full rash, mm. right? And he was wondering, he didn't do anything. So stressed. I was no, I was not with anyone. I didn't sleep with anyone. I didn't do anything with anyone. And the woman like, I'm not cheating either. And I don't have any issue. So mm. what went wrong, right? And so they went into, they went to the clinic to run tests and all. Okay. Yes, the woman had infection. Mm. But it was more like a toilet infection, you know. Okay. And she had yes. used her medication and everything. But it was still there. Mm. And so when the guy came in, he took over it. Now, he, for him, it was more of, oh, she cheated and everything. And, you know, at the long run, we found that he had his own, mm. which he didn't know he had. Exactly. I was going to say that, that he must have had something because yeah, yeah. the time period is even too short. Exactly. You cannot have it yesterday and then the, um, have the, the same next of day. the next yeah. day. Yeah. And then I would like to also have, because you said you talked about toilet infection. Yeah. I meant to, we don't believe there's anything called toilet infection. Oh, really? Yes, it's yeast infection. Okay. So we don't believe toilet causes any infection. So what people consider toilet infection is actually yeast infection when they have this burning sensation. They have itchiness. They have um, a discharge, white is discharge that is thick yeah. that we call, we describe it as cottage cheese or wara. Uh, what would be wara? Cottage cheese anyways. Cottage cheese. I've heard that wara before, so what are you? Yeah, tofu. Thank you. Tofu. Tofu yeah. is okay. wara. Yeah. So it's, it looks like tofu. Yeah. So that's what we consider. We don't believe there's anything called toilet. But don't toilet. they get it when they use public toilet? I've heard people say they get it when they use public toilet. No, I don't or know. Or we just it's, assume. It's, it's, it's an assumption. It's the same way people assume that. I don't know if you know Jedi Jedi, what uh, yeah. you when you, take, when you take too much sugar. Exactly. There's nothing like that in medicine. When they say, ah, that your, your bum bum is coming out. Yeah. Like, there's nothing like that. That is Emirates. It has nothing to do with sugar. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh God, we have this <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with sugar. And I always get my kids with that thing that yeah, you take too has, much sugar. I mean, too much sugar is not good for yeah. your health, but it's not going to cause emirates. That is not true. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same way toilet infection. Toilet infection mainly is due to your... The, the, the thing about it is that as women, we're not supposed to stick anything down there because it's mm. very sensitive. Yeah. The vaginal pH is, is slightly acidic, 3.8 to 4.5. Anything that knocks it off is that, like, you now start, you know, soap, soap is alkaline. Yeah. So once you start using soap to wash down there, you're moving the pH up. Mm. So, yeah. So there's a bacteria called the lact lactobacillus. So lactobacillus is the bacteria that is normal there in the vagina. Which is supposed to be. It's supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good bacteria. It keeps your, your vagina slightly acidic. But then, when you start doing all these things, you knock off the pH. Lactobacillus does, would not like that medium anymore. Mm -hmm. So bad bacteria, because okay. there's no, there's no um, in, in uh, what do you call it? Nature abhors vacuum. So obviously, if lactobacillus has left, something else will take Exactly, over. something else, and there's always the bad bacteria that will take over. So that's when mm -hmm. you now start having all this over, then candida can take over. That's when you have the yeast infection. And yeast is not sexually transmitted. So it's that man... Knows what he where, went where, to. Where, where he, where he has to. gone to. <laughs> he knows where no, he we went We found out he went somewhere. Really, <laughs> trust me. There you have it. Trust me. A lot of times in life, we grow up with stories we've heard and we live by what we've heard. But trust me, as you grow older, you find out that these things sometimes, most times, are not true. So they are just learned that there's not like toilet infection. And I remember when I was pregnant, I used to feel, oh God, I can't go in the toilet. I don't want toilet infection. I don't want to at my age. With all the opening of legs and everything I've been doing. Ah, because if you think about it, there, uh, what is even going to cause the toilet? Is it the air that is entering your vagina? Well, they say the air, the water. You know, you sit <laughs> and you know the, the. I mean, for your own personal hygiene, you should not be sitting on public course, toilets. Yeah. Do you understand? Because you can get like regular infection, but not that candida is coming because of the toilet mainly. Mm. No, not likely. 
not now, like now you know, right? Now you yeah, know where now it has you to know. Here. Now you know. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's talk more about you know more STIs, right? Okay. Um, STI is is one thing that is is deep, right? And also one thing that a lot of people do not talk about. But before you go into that, hmm. so I'll be going on a break because I need you all to you know sink in all you have learned, right? I know. Now you know there's no toilet infection, right? You know there's not like jelly jelly. It's not sugar that is causing it. So you have learned two things. Anyways, get your pen, get your um, paper, and write those things down so that you don't lie to your children again. <laughs> Let's stop lying to these kids so I don't carry over this wrong information to these kids. On this note, we're taking a break because we need to relax, right? And when we come back, we'll be diving more into more talks about STIs. Don't go anywhere because it's Dr. Listen Care and Soul Spice. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome back to Late Night with Sospa. If you are just joined, let me just tell you something. You have missed plenty. Let me make you feel bad. You have missed big time. We have talked about so many things, but two things, in case you do not know, right? Two things. Sugar does not cause JDJD, right? And there's not like toilet infection. So I'm here, right? From tomorrow, I'm ready to drag anybody on social media that comes and say, all of you, and those who have toilet infection, hey, auntie, stop. They don't have toilet infection. Dr. Lefunke has given me the hint, right? That I didn't know. Anyways, we are still talking about STI and sex, and I have with me a very pretty doctor who is helping us dissect, you know, and she's helping us finger and drill this particular topic. I know she's tired of all my sexual words, but hey, What's late now so far without any sex call, right? Don't worry, we'll battle the tattoo for this night, she'll be fine. <laughs> so, we are still talking about, anyway, it's still sex related, mm -hmm. right? So, are we saying that STIs mm -hmm. are mainly gotten through sex? Sexual contact, so it could be intimate contact, so kissing. So, you know, um, kissing can also cause um, inner sex. So, it, it doesn't have to, it could be vaginal sex, inner sex. Kissing, clit to clit, any close sex. Rubbing the clit, nipple in the mouth. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> let, wait, let me ask you this. Is that what, what kind of doctor are you? you, don't, you, don't, you, do, you do you deal with genitals? Do you treat people when it comes to sex? On a, in a professional sense. <laughs> but you see genitals, yeah? With chaperone. You, with a chaperone, oh. in a professional sense, with a chaperone, it? Yes, in a or hospital. No. Is it very good doctor? There? <laughs> they like to pretend. Do you see it? Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. So what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now what you are saying is, STI doesn't have to be penetration only. It doesn't have because to be penetration. Because most of the talk about STI, what comes to a lot of people's head is ah, hmm. we slept with her, mm. right? So what 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 I'm getting from you is, if you kiss the wrong person, oh, please. You're on your own. Herpes. If you suck the wrong pussy, right, you give head. Oh. Herpes. Yo, yo. Ah, shit, spice. If you go and give blood job, let me help you, sir. Thank you. Herpes. Thank you. I cannot buy medicine now. <laughs> right? So it's not just, you know, when it comes to sex. Now, what about skin to skin? Aside, you know, because I know, I've heard that, oh, if you have like a cut, you know, and I think this is one of you where they tell you don't shave. Ex okay, shave I get you before. now. Could you please explain that? Because I know. Okay. You know, I yeah. Like, I'm about to get down. Oh yeah. The um, I think a few days to Valentine, there was a lot of emphasis. I mean, or maybe a day before Valentine, there was a lot of emphasis on social media that if they have not shaved now, don't shave again, mm -hmm. or and everything. Mainly because if you shave, it's a sharp object. Most likely, you have. Micro, even if you don't have actual cuts, you might have micro cuts. And if you have sexual contact, that opening is more likely to, you're more likely to have infection pass through that opening. So your chances of having all these STIs, because if you meet someone that has an STI or have an open wound, mm. you're more likely to have an infection because now there's a bridge in the barrier, in your what skin about, barrier. What about people who have bumps? You know, sometimes some people have bumps due to shaving mm -hmm. right and at the same time some of their bumps are not just bumps they're now open wounds anything open that can bleed anything open that can bleed mm. anything open that can bleed because um for hiv uh, for example hepatitis b for example it's blood contact mm. 
So yeah, anything, anything that will cause blood or um, body fluid to contact themselves predisposes you so to why STI. Is it, why is it body fluid? Are you talking also about sweat? Okay, okay. Now let me, of course, not sweat. I'm sorry when I said, but I, I meant like your. Um, like semen, okay. yes, vaginal secretion. That's what I meant. Sorry, I needed to not sweat. No, 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 it's just that. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's very important. It's true. Sweat can come. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I don't know how people are having sex in this season. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we will have one food to go and bed. <laughs> or go and another shower, you know. Nah. Oh, what type of punishment is that one? So, I'm not asking a lot of it. Ah. Mm. Maybe God is trying to reduce promiscuity Sir? during this period. But what? <laughs> Let God close that hellfire back. I think the hellfire is open. Go work. Because you see, even in that heat, because I remember these were the times they were hot. <laughs> people still went down. People went down. And I don't think anything will stop people from actually having sex if they really want to. Mm. Trust me. I just want to Nigeria. We are used to so far. Oh. I cannot. Even with all this um, <laughs> I cannot be dollar me. hype, people that see get it now. It was so bad. I went somewhere this evening. I was, I was telling my husband, I was saying there's no money in this. There's money where money is. When things were easy, this place could be full. Mm. Things are hard now. Everywhere is blocked. I'm, is it not the same money we are spending? Hmm. You know, but the truth is, like my husband said, people still have to live their life. They might not come as frequent as we used to. Yeah, we have to survive. But you won't say because of one thing you won't enjoy. You will say that at yeah. the end of the day, so and if you don't spend it, someone else will help you. True, true, so true. That's the thing. Now going back to STIs now, what are the what would you say are the most deadliest STIs? That once you get it, it's not it's not a death sentence, right? But it's never gonna go. Or if you mean um STIs are not STIs are not curable. Then we're talking yeah. about the HIVs, the hepatitis B and C. Those ones are not curable. Then the genital warts. Genital warts is what we'll call mm -hmm. <laughs> genital warts. Eh? It's just a burden. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible, it's a very embarrassing burden because there's actually no cure. And it's just, it's a nuisance. I think that's the word I'm trying to look for. Yeah. It's a nuisance. I think that, 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 that thing you just mentioned, right, took the life of one of my clients one time, mm. right? Very good man, you know, has never done anything outside. Somehow, somehow, he found himself with a babe, and mm. it was just a one-night thing. One-night thing. And I don't think he took himself. So you had the what? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. He I'm sure it was not the what itself that he, killed him, but the he depression. Took, he took, he took, he took his life. I have someone that slid into my DM as well. The same thing. He's so worried. He said he has done everything. He's very embarrassed. There's no and, solution. Yeah. That's the point. But the thing about the what said to make the actual human papilloma virus that mm. causes it, there's no cure to it. But you can improve your quality of life. So you can go to, you can see a dermatologist mm. and they can try, they can do chirotherapy, sclerotherapy. But still there. To, uh, but at least, if, you, if you're not going naked, hey, no, who will sleep with you? No, no, they will chop off the, they, they will chop off the wax so it's still <laughs> presentable. To who? It's still presentable. No, don't let that tell you. Will you get down? I, well, I know, I know too much to get down. Aha! <laughs> but that's this different. You know, so it, it's, for them it's more of, the embarrassment. Yes, yeah, the know, embarrassment. I, I remember one time... And it can be very stubborn. <sighs> Even with all these things, it can come back at any you know, time. You know this particular man stayed away from sex for his wife for months. He would give excuses. He would Same thing say, this guy was I'm saying. I'm traveling, I'm not around. Girlfriend. You know, and everything. And I said, you can't and run really, forever. Really, because the woman is now wondering, what have I done? Am I not presentable? Does he not yeah. want me? And he's just trying to save her. Right, and you have to tell her. It was a yeah, one-time mistake, but sorry, your own did not go well. Yeah. It didn't go down well. You know, after everything, the wife got to find out. He still took himself because he couldn't stand it. Yeah. You know, because I mean, people you tell it was just a one-time thing. It's very embarrassing. You know, and that is one thing. So I don't imagine a woman having to deal with that. That is a man. You know, we, a feel, man. we feel men have it easier yeah. in life. 
So imagine a woman having to deal no, with it's her. It's worse for that one. No sex again to death. Oh. <laughs> Same thing for a woman now. Which man would want to touch her? Ah, I cannot even imagine. Eh? No. I saw a very, like, was it three or four weeks ago, a patient. I think that's the worst case I've ever seen. It was, it was like, a, like a mushroom forest down there. And that's how bad that thing can yeah, be. Yeah, it was like a mushroom forest, like a forest full of mushrooms down there. So, it, so are you saying there's nothing you guys can do, or like, <coughs> is there no way they can even make it? Probably not totally go away, but not be visible. Let it be in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I mentioned the sclerotherapy, and yeah. yeah, they can. And there's there's a cream as well that could burn it. That, that that's why I was trying to explain that mm. it will make it presentable. It can improve the person's quality of life. Mm. But it's, it's, it's a nuisance like um, keloid as well. It can come yeah, up anytime. Exactly, just like keloid as well. Yeah. You know, keloid 2 is, a very, is so no, difficult. That's... Keloid 2 don't is just a have, Don't have that skin. Once exactly, you have that skin. No, exactly, don't be... You are, you are, you are, exactly. I have a friend who, who had TS. And almost every two years, she goes to cut hers. Yeah, it's Because come she'll back. cut it, it will come back. It's she'll cut it, it will come back. And I'm like... Come back. Ah. We that did tears mm. are nothing now. We are yeah. still, we really don't understand, right? But the truth is, everyone has their own skin type, yeah. and you cannot really know the kind of skin you have until you find yourself in yeah. that space. And so, to everyone who's got it, I'm all I can say is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm. I, I just I wish you the very best. Trust me, but I still want to believe that it cannot be that bad for you not to have someone who would manage it with you. Can you manage it with the per with the partner? We no 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 partner. My husband. Will you manage it with your husband? When I did not give it to him, he's on his own. No. <laughs> exactly. I Why didn't give it to you. To well, I mean, the person that gave it to you. That's the thing. If it's if it's something that that happens with us, I don't have a choice. I die with him. I want you right. have it. That's but it. But you have gone to bring it from outside. <laughs> Thank you. Like, <laughs> ha! It's it's the truth. Yeah. And and this is where this is where you know being cheerful and being um, faithful comes exactly. into it. Exactly. You know, if that man had been faithful, 100%. Just that one chance would not have ruined him. Yeah. Let, let's be real. But it's a different thing when you are in an open marriage. I'm not against open marriage. There are so many open marriages in... Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> like, we are having that discussion before no, we no, came no, There's so many open marriages in Nigeria, right? So what, but what, are you what sure? I'm saying Nigeria, I'm saying Lagos. Are you sure it's an open marriage or they're staying for the kids? They are no, trying no, no. to be a family. No, unit. Are, so 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 let, let, let me let me pick one of the couples that I know, right? Just one of them. Right. So I think this particular couple I would say are the strongest I know. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of if the man is not in town and he wants to pick a hill, they've had an agreement. You cannot spend more than this amount. Hmm. And as he's using the ATM, the wife is getting the alert. On another woman. Yeah. She's okay with it. She does not. Now, no, wait, wait, let, let me tell you. So, 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 you see, there's a difference in when you do something to me and you feel I'm okay with it. When I do it to you, do you feel the same way? So, I think one time she was out of the country and then she Thanks. found a guy hmm. and she called, Hey, love, I think I found a guy. People had their right. love to it. I want to, I want to explore. <laughs> and the man said, okay, why not? Because the mother has been carrying babes. The wife has never complained. So now she just felt, let me just tell him. I don't owe him, but let me just tell him that. The man says, what's nice? He wanted to die. I could not sleep. <laughs> so he was just thinking, what's happening now? Will she like him more than me? Will she come back? <laughs> I've I'm like, eh. Hey. That's what I'm saying. So when you've been doing your own... He cannot... No, so, so you see, it's easier for men because men can pick. But they can't stand... A lot of men cannot take what they dish out. And that's one thing I found out in marriage. Because, right? you know, in the society, we generally believe that if a man cheats, it's because, you know, men are moved by what they see. So it's not like they're attracted um, mentally to the person. Mm. It's just a physical attraction. And that's it. They're not in love. It's just an urge... It's like you're hungry. And but women, so I move by what we see you. Ah. <laughs> Once I see most, your broad chest, I move by it. <laughs> most women, most women would not just cheat. It's usually premeditated. In those days. Uh, not know. the women we have now. <laughs> don't, don't, the ones like, that say so spice. I'm like done. It's... I'm getting late tonight. Ah, auntie. Which is done. That means being done is a process. 
Yeah. So something led to that being done. Yeah, it's not like a is, guy that literally is leaving his house mm -hmm. with the mentality, oh, I have a wife, I have children, I'm good. And he just sees one random girl at the club and he's already moved yeah. and he wants to have sex. But the woman saying she's done, it's a thought and process. That's a wife. That what about women who tell you, once I sleep with a guy, I don't want to see him again. I can't stand him. He will always, will always... They just want different men. Yeah. They can't sleep with one guy twice. You know that we're not, of course, there will always be that yeah. population, but majority, me and I'm hoping you, majority. Why are you hoping me? <laughs> uh, why are you hoping me? Majority of, you know, the guy, <laughs> majority of women will not yeah. just wake up and see a random guy with broad chest and like, oh, let's go and sleep with each other. Random thing like that. Have you read my two Tuesday stories? Oh. You need to go on my page. Just go and look every Tuesday. Just go and look, look for the topic first, though, okay. before you start reading stories. Mm -hmm. The day I talked about um, what you want to do, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, what you want to do, but you can't tell your spouse. Or it was a matter of what, like, what your sexual fantasy mm -hmm. that you know your partner would never agree to. Or more. Okay. Okay. So many women just want threesome. Oh. They just want to stay with another woman. They just want to watch their spouse sleep with someone. I'm like, mm -mm. and someone came in like, are these Nigerian women? I said, no. They're Europeans. Oh, interesting. So the truth is, a lot of women have this, but because of our Society. culture, our moral, if I do this, they will judge me. If I do this. Well, some women are wild in now. They're breaking out of that. They don't send you. They don't send they, you. <laughs> well, if you kind of get hair, so would I be the first? Uh -huh. You know, because... A lot of times, I think at this point, a lot of women have been pushed to the wall. Yeah. You know, I, I remember one time I had a client, um, not really a client, I had someone on, on one of the follower who sent me a DM like three years ago or four years ago, they were like, my husband is cheating, so like, I can never cheat on my husband, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. And I'm like, find peace with yourself. You see this man? And I give you the happiness you want. Guess what? Four years down the line, mm. someone randomly on a Wednesday afternoon, Mm. called me and said, so spice, I don't need your opinion. I just want to let you know I'm going to a hotel. I'm going to be fucking a guy. I don't know him, but I'll call you when I'm done. I said, she'll call you when she's and done. And I'm like, okay, can you, how'd you get my number? I said, you gave me your number. I said, okay, can you send me a DM? Mm. You know, at least so that so I can follow up when you are, you don't know this guy. And let somebody know where you are. Let me know the hotel and everything, everything. I said, okay, fine. When I went back, to her DM to read back mm. stories. I read this woman was telling me three, four years ago that she can never cheat. She's the child of God. Mm. But guess what? After being pushed to the wall, pushed. by the time she, she by the time she was done, <laughs> she called me and said, it was really as fantastic as I wanted for. I was about to say that that two wrongs don't make it right. Because she but tried she, but she enjoyed it. She tried it, right? And I said, but you know you can't judge one person. By the first time saying, No, you're yeah, encouraging that so my So, the, so the, the truth is, so, so it's not about encouragement, whether we like it or not. I remember my husband, because my husband was at home that day when she called. My husband was like, Why don't you talk her out of it? Exactly. I said, She doesn't need my opinion. And that's where being a therapist comes in. She had planned herself. Somebody had booked a hotel. But she's not making rational decisions because uh, decisions... all she needed at that point, she just wanted to tell someone. So they said, You need to learn when people need you to advise them. I went for you to just listen to them. Mm. She just wanted to talk to someone. She didn't need any advice because she knew what she was going to do and she was not going to back out. Right? She might because she's making decisions based on vengeance. So that has paid so, for Terum, that the guy's already coming. She took her uh, bath. She dressed what up. What happened to switching off She your paid. Phone? What hmm. happened to... No. I feel like, Mio, yeah. I feel like she telling you she wanted... It was it at that point in time? Because if she didn't want to back out, yeah. she wouldn't have told you. Because she, in the back of her mind, she knew that what she was about to do was wrong. Do you understand? So it was 50-50. No, it was not a matter of wrong. I think for her, it was a matter of fear. Exactly. Right? So I, And she needed someone who was not going to judge her. Mm. Right? She, she had, of course, she doesn't know me. I don't know her. So now if I see her, I don't even, I don't even know if you are the one self. <laughs> I have to check my gem again. <laughs> I, I don't even know if you are the one self, right? But the truth is, <coughs> just needed someone who was not going to judge Georgia. her or talk her out of her plans. And I think as a therapist, we've learned sometimes people just want you to listen. 
Yeah, I get without you. Without saying anything. Therapist. You know, but after after that, you know, she's she has a boyfriend now, even though she's still married. You know, but she she'll tell you, so I have peace of mind. I'm not bothered about who is with or where he is because I enjoy myself. So when we come home, we are happy Hello. together. <laughs> and I'm mean, you guys are having open mind. Just who confess. Uh, do your own and your okay. you know, but, <laughs> but the truth about it is it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Until one person brings in the wrong thing. Because the the crazy thing is, uh, uh, STI is um, sometimes uh, it's like COVID in quotes. Because that person you're sleeping with outside, mm. do you know who the person is? Exactly. Especially married men and married women, because you're sleeping with someone outside that owes you sleep. no loyalty. Yeah. Owes you no loyalty. So you don't know who that person is sleeping with. And that person, the person that person is also sleeping with, they also don't no know. Choice. So it's exactly. like it's like a it's food a chain. Yeah. So you don't know where STI can enter at any time. So that's and the I'm thing. Wondering who, where is There's this nothing from? on the surface of this earth like being faithful to one partner. Both of you being faithful. And nothing beats 100% abstinence. I know you don't want to hear that, but <laughs> nothing Abs beats... Abstinence from... <laughs> abstinence from sex. At least it's sexually... Who, who, is, who is supposed to abstain? I'm talking about people that are not married. Okay. The youth. Ah, please. The youth. Abstain, yo. <laughs> Abstain, you. Stay away. Because there's nothing sexually transmitted. So you cannot transmit something if you're not having sex to transmit it. But, because you, know, but you know the worst thing, sorry to cut you, the worst thing is married people are not even having sex. Yeah. Singles are having more sex than the married ones. 100%. For every three couples you see, only one is having sex. Do you know the, the reason... The reason behind that, from my own personal, um, um, my own opinion, no, it's not facts yeah. or anything. It's not based on any research. But I feel like marriage has now become very transactional. So people are not marrying their friends like before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then the advent of social media, <clears throat> it opens your imagination. It opens your mind. It, op it reduces your staying power as well. It makes you thirst for more outside. Yeah. So I, th I think m I think that's on the. Why can't you test for more outside? <laughs> Don't test for more outside. When, when the grass looks greener, but you now go there now realize that it's paint. But ex thank you. You're your own. Or it's someone else mm -hmm. that is watering the grass that exactly. is making it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have the water. You're thirsty. You cannot have water on another person's thank grass. God. You see this thing here. I always tell people for every time your partner steps out that door, hmm. right? Single they will find someone prettier, 100%. someone taller, someone richer, someone shorter, someone uglier. Everything better than you is 100%. out that door. But when you have a partner who goes and comes back, Hallelujah. it's not because you're pretty, it's not because you're better, it's because they have decided yeah, I was by themselves to, say that. Right, to come back. And that decision should always be made before you're you are faced with that temptation. Mm. So you're not waiting for it. You should have that made that decision that yeah. no, no matter what happens, I'm content with my woman. I'm content with my man. Because there will always be someone better. Always, always, mm. yeah. So I think the decision should be made even before you face that temptation. And don't put yourself... Because we, we hear about pastors that are tempted. Um, not even tempted. Pastors doing crazy things. Pastors... Oh. <laughs> you know themselves. Hmm. <laughs> so there we, you don't want to go there. <laughs> we hear about pastors every day. Yeah. And to be fair, it might not be the pastor might just find himself in a compromising position. So more importantly, don't put yourself in that compromising position. Compromising. And don't be how, do you, how do you become? For example, if you're cancelling a sister and the sister has now entered with clothes and is showing cleavage, you should mm -hmm. have Almost like us as medical pr uh, practitioners, yeah. if, uh, if I'm examining a male patient, yeah. I have to have a sharp run. More importantly for male doctors yeah. doing a vagina examination or any, any examination, not even vagina, any examination, even regular examination, you have a female sharp run. So a pastor, why can't the pastor have a sharp run there with him as well? Because he can fall into temptation. They See, are human. I, 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 don't, I don't really believe in this temptation thing. I'm sorry to say <laughs> Probably because, maybe because I've grown to a certain level, right? And I've trained myself. I see a lot of pricks. I see a lot of people. I see that a lot of... That is you. you know, that's what I'm saying. That is you. Because I have trained myself over the years, right? To understand, to take away my emotions yeah. from yeah. my job. 
you can be stuck naked and I'll tell you, I'm here to do my job, yeah. right? You either get into it and we do it. If I leave and I walk out that door, your money is gone. My time with you has expired. Yeah. I won't get turned on. I won't get moved by you, yeah, right? Especially yeah. when I have to get fiscal with some clients due to whatever reasons, right? That's not for you to know, right? But the truth is, I have trained myself mentally, right? Through coaching and, you know, yeah. NLP and everything. It's willpower. To understand that, you know, I just can't get it's, turned it's on. It's my job. Like, if I don't want to get turned on, I won't get turned on. 100%. Right? So, it's, it's, for me, it's a job. And I have, I have something to deliver. Yeah. Right? So, me now saying I'm getting wet on that job. And then bear in mind that you're, you're female. You know men, it's different. It's very, very different. I know they see prick, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Don't be deceived. Say that broad <laughs> chest. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, on this one, we're taking a break. I did not see anything. And I did not see anything. Please. I know my husband is not watching. But it's okay. <laughs> on this one, we're taking a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking more about SCIs. But this time, not the deadly ones, but the ones you can actually cure and survive. Don't go in because Soul Spice and Dr. Adepon care. The sex part, we'll be right back. Okay. I'm trying not to be angry, but somehow I'm angry, right? And the truth about it is this. If you're just joining, I want to say welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Yes, I'm angry, but you see, there's, there's a level of anger you would have. You know, they're going to be having makeup sex and, ah, oh my, I love that makeup sex. So I don't know about you, right? If you're the kind of wife that wants peace, you're not ready, you Sometimes just, you know, scatter it for no reason. So everybody will be angry. You're not touch yourself for a day or two. And then when they're going to catch you like this, yeah, with the anger and frustration and everything, you'll be knocking. Yes, yes, yes. You are angry. You're enjoying. Oh, I don't care. You don't do it. No, I don't. No makeup says. I'm a good girl. <laughs> Somebody please call her husband for me. I need to know this game. I'm, 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 tomorrow, I'll take my time go through your followers. I must find your husband. All the best. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not on social media. There are some men that are not on social media. So it's... <laughs> I, I need to know your husband. This, this woman... <laughs> Don't be deceived. You see all these square people? Hey! By the time it's time for them to get down, by the time they get to that point, you see them in badass leather. With... 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 with with whips, with 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 whips. with, with, with <laughs> hmm. I'm not gonna say. Ah, <laughs> well done. <laughs> She's telling you, Eddie. I saw Girl. it on your page. <laughs> you saw it on my page. I saw it on your page. Which uncle you saw on my page? The uncle. I did not put on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle yeah. saw it on your page. Yeah. You went down, 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 down my page. I don't know. I just saw uncle for your page. Dear. Husband of Dr. Defunke. Now you know what your wife wants. <laughs> In case you don't have, please send me a DM. I will send you one for free. I'm not collecting money. <laughs> I will send you one for free and I will give you guidelines on how to take her to the heavens. To that orgasm place. She needs to go. <laughs> she visit. needs to go. She needs to be there. Anyways, we are just joining. This is late. That was so sweet. I'll be talking about STI and sex. And um, Dr. Defunke has been helping us, you know, understand the deadly ones, the not too deadly ones, and, you know, every other thing you need to understand about STI. Trust me, we have learned a whole lot. So if you're just joining, you might want to watch the replay of this particular episode either on Thursday or Saturday or on Sunday, right, to get a replay of this particular episode to understand all the things you have missed. See, I'm not going to lie, you don't miss and you missed big time, right? There's no point in deceiving. You have missed big time. But anyways, it's okay. You can still join and learn more because we are diving into some other areas we have not really talked about. So, Dr. Defunke. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> are you a virgin? I'm a virgin with two kids. It's possible. There's, there's IVF. Ah! It's possible. It's possible. There's IVF. Possible. There's surrogates. It's true. It's very possible. Uh, I'm a virgin with three children. It's possible, and, actually. And I'm, a, and I'm a very good virgin. <laughs> I'm very good at being a virgin. Like, That's my virginity fine. is very good. You're supposed to be. You're going to kill me and today. And very <laughs> deep. 
and very well. What are, we, are we, what are we talking about? STI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're talking about STI, right? So I, I want to find out from you what are those STIs that are not too deadly, right? Um, mm. When I say not too deadly, I know curable. that if you don't, I, yeah, okay, okay, maybe the word is curable. I know that if you don't take good care of it, exactly. it could turn to something else. So, what are those STIs that are not curable? So, we'll be talking about gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis. Those are the three main ones that antibiotics can actually sort out. So, that's why uh, for guys, if you have any penile discharge, like from your penis, you're having any form of um, discharge, you should, um, you should, um, what's the word? You should try and check. You should have it in the back of your mind that, oh, is this STI? And see a doctor. If you're having burning sensation when you pee, you're having frequency, you're peeing more than normal. Because the problem with all these STIs, eh, especially the ones that, have, that you have an infection, you're having urethral, discharge that is discharged mm. through your penis is that if it's left untreated down the line you can actually have what we call strictures strictures are like it, you know that the the urethra that's a, the urethra is like the tube yeah in the penis that where you pee through yeah so you can have strictures that are like little um what would i call them like um like little blockages in so you will not be able to pee freely and we've had cases where there have been total blockage Hmm. And exactly, and you have retention. Trust me, acute re uh, urinary retention is an emergency. So it's very, very important that don't just, you know, um, what's the word? Don't just do macho and say I'll, I'll rough it. And don't go to the pharmacies as, as well. Go to the hospital. Let us know. Do proper tests. Do proper tests and let us know what, which actual infection, STI that you have so it hmm. can be treated properly. So it can be treated properly. So, so is this one of the reasons why a lot of guys just take antibiotics for no reason? Because I've seen men have like n normal antibiotics in their bags, right? They just take it, you know. Of course, I've seen men travel and come back and they're popping and right. Hundred percent. Are you sick? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm not. And they're like, no, I'm not sick, but you know, we need to just you know take care of our bodies. And I'm like, it's very, very possible. And the problem with antibiotics is is, is, is the problem. We had with chloroquine. No chloroquine was once used to treat um, malaria. But it became resistant so while we were abusing it. And the same mm. problem we're going to have with typhoid and ciprofloxacin and, oh my God, flagyl. Flagyl, people don't know that flagyl is an antibiotic and people are abusing it. Any, anyhow. Uh, using it. So, you hear each other say, go and buy, exactly. buy flagyl. Yeah. So we would have drug resistance. So that's another problem. That's why I'm saying don't mm. attempt to treat it yourself. Please make sure. Because you might not even have the STI, you're just using antibiotics. And you eventually will have a case of drug resistance in our hands, and that will be a major problem. So, yeah, so I would advise if you start having burning sensation, penile discharge, women, women can have intermenstrual bleeding. That means from one time that you're seeing your menstrual flow to the next menstrual flow in between, you can actually have a, a spots and bleeding. Okay. Yeah, and then you can have a cervical discharge. So if anything that is off, whether it is STI or not, you're better off checking it out. And then for syphilis, if you start having strange rashes, most times it's the dermatologist that picks it up. Because when you have syphilis initially, most times you don't even know that you have, because you might have like a small ulcer, which might not take serious to go. Then, because syphilis is in three stages. So the secondary syphilis can come in. That's when the rash becomes aggressive. Mm. But it favors the, the palm and the the palm of the hand and the sole of the feet. Okay. So most times, they, most people think is oh, it's just a normal rash. So usually it's a dermatologist that picks it up. So what am I trying to say in essence is that in Nigeria, we like to, I'm not trying to downplay the pharmacist and stuff, but yeah. I feel like doctors are the ones that should make that. Yeah, you should go to a clinic. It's yeah, exactly. very simple. Exactly. So let's even make sure that, because you might not, you might have urethral discharge and it might not even be an STI. It might just be a normal urinary tract infection that is not STI. But okay. it's very important. And most especially for women, because you stand a chance of having what we call pelvic inflammatory disease. And pelvic inflammatory disease is why we're having high burden of infertility, because it can block your, your tubes. Tube, yeah. Exactly. So it can block your tubes, it can lead to ectopic pregnancy. So you actually want to get treated. And it's very simple. It's antibiotics. Antibiotics will sort out the infection mm. most times. So, yeah. So, 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 the choice, so I want to find out from you now, talking about women, <coughs> Excuse me. there is this, um, 
you know, vagina wash, you know, um, um, feminine washes. Yeah, you know, the things you insert, insert, you know, insert, insert and they bring it out, they tell you, and I'm wondering if you put something there, what, what are you expecting would exactly. happen? You know, you, you put a blockage there and, you know, all that's supposed to come out of your body naturally is being, you know, is staying on it. When you bring it out, are you expecting it to come out as white as it went in or what? For me, yeah, I personally believe it's a scam. I feel like whatever they're putting, it <laughs> exactly. It's like always like in a, a ball. Is it that ball? Yeah, in, I feel in like the white. Yeah, I feel like there's something inside that is creating maybe for, some form of chemical reaction when it mixes with acid, mm. vaginal acid, and then you're seeing this grayish thing, and you're like, oh my god, all the dead thing. I'm like, dead. It's just like all this. Um, um, okay, let me not say Chinese people. I'm not trying to sound <laughs> racist, but it's, it comes from China. This machine that they were attached to you. And then they'll tell you, so that put your leg, leg in and, it. They, and then yeah, you I heard that thing too. It's, it's a chemical reaction going on. Trust, how would toxins come out of your body through your skin into the water? And the water will be so it's a so scam. Yeah. And then it's you bring your friend, scam. bring your family, I'm clean. It's a scam. They even told a relative of mine that she's supposed to have five kidneys and she has three kidneys. So it's, they're just scamming you. Please. Three. They're just well, yeah. Can she donate the remaining <laughs> <the next laughs> hour? Exactly. So this is, they're just coming you. There's, there's nothing. So that's why I say that we, we maybe we doctors, and I um, that's part of my motivation for having my platform because there's so much misconception mm. out there. So 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 much misconception. People are being scammed because they are very vulnerable. Because when you're sick or when you feel, because these people are not even sick. People thinking they're flushing toxins. They they are giving you this perception that you are sick and you need toxins. What, yeah. what toxins are flushing out of your system? It's a lie. It's just a chemical reaction that is... And but then money, but you pay. They will not give you drugs like plastic. And I heard it's not you cheap. Have... That's the crazy thing. I heard it's not cheap. Like, they can give you, they will say, oh, something, something is wrong with you. You have three kidneys instead of five. But you have to take this one so that your three kidneys can be functioning like five. And they will give you, like, drugs. At the end of the day, you may end up paying 30K, 50K and stuff. So just... Are you sure I'm not going to open our own company like this? <laughs> so I'll be giving people like four kidneys. <laughs> four kidneys. <laughs> it is well, trust me. And and this is coming basically because a lot of times we also want to look for the easiest way mm. out. We always want to hear what we think is right, right? Nigeria is a country where hope. Just tell me I have a problem. Yeah. You know, and I'm after you. And sell me the you solution. Know. Yeah. You know, you have a problem. Ah, I see. Yeah, you're going to die in the next five years. Mm. You know, you have to do it. Hey, what do I need to do? How much? You're going to die. <laughs> Why don't you just go and live the next five five days and enjoy your life, enjoy your money, to the and let death come and meet you there? You know. But the truth is, we live in fear mm -hmm. every time. Um, I remember someone telling me, "Oh, if you do this, this person can hurt you. This person can go do jazz." I'm like, "Jazz, jazz, jazz only goes to a billionaire." Mm. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, yeah. but I don't believe in it. I don't care, yeah. right? And uh, it will only work if God allows it to work. Hundred percent. Right? Hundred so, percent. And the moment I start to think, what if, what if? Permits. Then I've always I've started building that fear, and that's what we do a lot of times. We build fear in us, right? Oh, your leg. Once you want, there's nothing wrong with that leg, but because you're focused on it, mm -hmm. you believe that's a problem. You start to see what does not even exist. So let me give you an example. And this has to do a lot with, you know, medicals, right? Um, you find that a lot of virgins, when they get married, they have what we call vaginismus. Okay. Right? And so with vaginismus, now one of the things I don't like about you guys, that you doctors in Nigeria is, you feel to understand that people like me exist. And so when you have a client who comes to say, oh, my husband cannot penetrate, I'm in pain, you know, it's not working. They say things like, oh, let's do a little surgery. Let's open, open your... Open up a little. What are you opening up? The issue is here. Yeah. Right? So even when they open you up, it's still, it's still not going to work. Yeah. Right? Until you come to someone like me who understands, okay, it's a psychological issue. We need to go back to the foundation. The we need to go find the trauma and take away the trauma and start to help you open up before your muscles can actually open up and exactly. then you can have a great sex life, right? And so because of that, when people like that, come to medic medical people, they give them drugs, you know, sometimes, they, you know, they, they uh, sedate them, you know, they want to open them up. And I remember one of my clients telling me that, so twice, they had given me injection, I'm supposed to sleep. But at the point of them 
opened mm -hmm. me up. I was holding the doctor. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, you think it's your body? It's not your body. Mm -hmm. I thought your issue is here. Yeah. So your brain doesn't sleep. And so even if you think your body cannot work, your brain tells your body what to do. So yeah. even when you're supposed to be asleep, you're not going to be asleep because your brain is telling you no. Yeah. Nothing can go in here. You have that trauma that needs to be taken out, right? And so it took them years yeah. to come to me. Oh, because wow. they feel, oh, so surprised. You are not. Oh, wow. At first it was like, you're not spiritual enough. Okay, go and pray. <laughs> when you're done praying, I'll be here. There's a reason God put me here, right? Yeah. And so they went on, pray, fast, mountain, everything, oh, everything. Wow. Came back again. So surprised. Auntie, uncle, I told you, this is the solution. No, let's try the hospital. They went, opened their module, everything, everything. The soul was not entering. <laughs> After like three years plus, so surprised. Okay, let's give you a try. Oh, by ready. Your God, you know, I said, you. Hmm. I said, you see, that's the problem. Because you think prayer opens all doors, but you've forgotten that sometimes before you pray for that door to open, you need a doctor to give you that drug. When mm. you use that drug, so you can pray. And that door can open, right? Yeah. You need that key to open that door. You will not say, oh, Holy Spirit, pick out a clothes for me. Dress me or take a shower for me. You'll be there exactly. till Just tomorrow. In the effort. Are you saying God is not hearing? He can hear, but sometimes I'm giving you the ability to do certain things, right? And when we did just, you know, two sessions, the man was able to go halfway in. And I say, you see, it took you three years. What you mm. have done with it? You have wasted money, you have wasted three time. Three years, wow. Right? No, some people go more than three years. No, I'm just one. The man is, a, is the real MVP. Yeah. We should, yeah, the man is well, the real MVP. Well, sometimes, some people don't survive it. I've, Most times. I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen clients who, who are in nah, this one, there's no solution, I'm sorry. Mm. You know, because sometimes it's not just even about the solution, it's about their attitude towards yeah, therapy. Exactly. They're like, oh, I'm not available, I'm busy. You have a problem, and you're telling me you are busy. I have not done it out you when I have time. Ah, oh, yeah, you don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Because me, I'm carrying a problem in my head, but you, uh, the exactly. problem, I you, you don't have time. Mm -hmm. So those kind of people, you understand, you know, the end game. Mm -hmm. Even though you make them understand, see, if you don't do your part, I am not God. I'm not going to do anything. You are coming to me to help you, and you still have to do the whole job, right? But the medical field in Nigeria still do not, I think they have not gotten to that point of understanding that they are sex coaches who handle certain things. And not everything, they, like you said, mm -hmm. you know, you said, okay, this, it's a dermatologist kind of thing. It is not mm -hmm. your job. Exactly. Can you test the person? Yes. But your test has limits. Exactly. Right? And your test ends it at a particular That's point. Now, okay, you know what? This one is not my own again. Go to this person. But when it comes to sex, Nigerian doctors, I don't know, maybe they just don't know or they have refused to know, right? They don't want to believe or understand that people like us exist and people should be forwarded towards not them trying to open up but so many surgeries and yeah nothing is happening i agree with you 100 percent that in nigeria we still lack behind in the multidisciplinary approach to a patient mm -hmm. seeing a patient as a patient with a particular problem but there are different approaches too so even you know for example even cancer patients there's no reason why a cancer patient and the relative shouldn't be seen a, a psychiatrist or yeah. a psychologist because most times it's it's, a, it's here exactly and then the depression even the caregiver the depression that we don't we lack in that multidisciplinary approach we see them as a disease condition and we're just trying to treat that disease mm. we're not treating human beings but we're treating diseases so i, I, I agree with you <clears throat> compared to the western world we actually lack behind significantly with that i think with time you people will change mm. amen Amen. <laughs> okay, so yes, if you're just joining, this is Late Night with and we're talking about STIs and sex. Trust me, um, the telephone care is a vibe, and she's one special guest that has taken us through a whole lot. I know I'm supposed to open the phone lines, but I know that if I try it, <laughs> if I try it, do you want to open the phone lines? Should I? Should I not? Um, let me ask my poor... Can we? Okay, so the number right there on your TV screen is the number for you to call in. in let me just open it, basically, so that people might have questions, you know, and they might want to know. The number right there on your TV screen, the number you can call in. Feel free to call in. Let us know if you have any questions around SCI. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Mm -hmm. The question has to be strictly about tonight's topic, not how to last long in bed. <laughs> not how to get a longer penis. That is, well, I can help you get a longer penis. Just give me the money. 
and I'll show you. But the truth is, it's not possible anyway. You know, it's right? not for, I, that was my very first video on my Instagram page. Like but there are things you can okay. Let's not divert. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> you like penis? I like penis. Ah, I know. I know that women say less, but I know you know what. What is penis? Ah, no, I don't even worry. Anyways, though, we will not for sure. We'll bring her next to come. You see that penis? Eh? She's coming back to talk about it with vagina. She's not going anywhere. She will get used to it. I will teach her how to talk about. it. I remember one time I once had a guest some years ago, and for her to say sex on the show was a lot of stress for every time we said the word sex she would just so one time i said okay can you please pass me that fork and you do a cut to her well i like oh i want that fork she was like where is the fork i said i need that fork she was like when it dawned on her i was talking about like so spice please now please. I'm a child of, I'm that's like, how oh, i feel so yeah, spice, child please, of god no. and then, like... came, then it was still the sexual he came to the sexual <laughs> but you saw the name of the show and he came at me okay as if not your god that created sex. You know, mm. <laughs> you know when you contacted me for this show and I went through your face, I was like, God, can I do this? This woman, Nabi. <laughs> I was like, can I do this? Trust me, here you are. You are even done beyond. <laughs> no. But anyways, um, the number to call is right on the TV screen. If you have any question for Dr. Dave care about STI and sex, feel free to call in. Uh, we will be taking just very few calls. And what I'm saying that is this, um, the moment we get a pick your call, please turn on the volume of your TV set and, um, you know, or preferably mute your TV so that you can speak to us directly. The moment we get a feedback from you, we would let you go. Please note, we would let you go. We do not have much time, but then I don't want to look as if, oh, so I don't allow me to call because sometimes you people have, you like to harass me. You don't let us call. You don't let, oh, yeah, oh, it is time to call. Mm. Um, the phone line will be open now, now, now. We're going to be opening the phone line. Please turn down the volume of your TV set the moment we get a pick your call. I want to hear you and let me know if you have any questions around STI. Please, when we pick your call, tell us where you're call calling from. You don't have to tell us your name. We really don't want to know your name. But if, you, if you're okay with letting us know who you are, that will be fine. We just need to know where you're calling from. Right. So... Before the phone starts going on and off, because trust me, these people, they will not let you rest. The <laughs> moment that call starts, <laughs> it never ends, right? So what are the things you would advise people to do, right? Should in case you have, you know, sex with someone, you don't know their status, right? Or you find yourself, you know, probably a condom breaks or unprotected sex. What would you advise them to do in the next 24 hours? <clears throat> so if, you're, if you have unprotected sex with someone that you don't know their status, I would advise you to see the person as HIV, particular positive, or to proven otherwise. Mm -hmm. So I would advise the person to take a post-exposure prophylaxis within 72 hours of that unprotected sex. And it's free in all government hospitals. It's a regimen that you take every day for 28 to 30 days, basically. So... I'll I'll advise that. I mean, see, see the person as HIV positive unless proven otherwise. And I like the fact that you talked about condom because I was thinking about it today that you know we were drinking Coke, drinking Fanta, drinking all those things, and the quality of everything has reduced hmm. generally. So I'll advise that if you want to buy condom, or we'll buy good quality condom because Trust you cannot me. be. Trust me. You cannot be. You don't know the 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 material. That they are using for these things anymore. I, I don't trust. We anything. talk about bottle water, and you know, as it is now, you can't hold bottle water. It would kind of, you know, fold into two. Exactly. And you want ah, the same bottle that if it so, falls, nothing will happen. You know, the same thing with um, um, plastic bottles. Yeah, everything. They are not strong. Everything. So just think about it. So if those are not strong, how ah, with this one? So exactly. It's already even soft. <laughs> now it's softer and softer. So if you if you want to have, um, you have to. It's not you should. You have to have protected sex, uh, safe sex, protected sex, use a condom, but please, please. Not those 500 naira condoms. Exactly, please. I don't even know what they sell condom now. Please, um, Abu, how much is condom now? Not for 300. 300? 500? K-level. Is that what you do? Are we on break? Are we on break? <laughs> yeah, no, we are not on break yet. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so 
Yeah, Caleb just confirmed, you know, that he's used to the 300 <laughs> naira condom. <coughs> so, I, I don't know that kind of condom. The condoms I know, the condom I know I have is 18.5, right? And I'm, and I'm being factual. These are real ones. The condoms I know is 85 for like 10 pieces, 22k for like 10 pieces. So I don't know the kind of... So just imagine, 300 naira condom to 18.5 the, condom. The value right? cannot... But the, but the value cannot. That's why we're having well, the eye body. Are you not the people? So, what's the difference? There's difference in one, one five, 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 five for one. I'd be how many is in the one five box? Two. Yeah. I'm talking about 18.5 condom for 10. You're talking about one five for two. Can you see your level? So it's going, it's five going five to break into two. two. We are, we are and you are going to impregnate her <laughs> and you're going to have a child <laughs> before <laughs> the year runs out. In Jesus' name, amen. Anyways, on this, I'm going to take a break. Please, all of you using 300 and 500 condoms. Mm. <laughs> we are born deal. We'll be taking a break, and when we come back, we'll be talking more about STI and probably tell you more about good condoms, not those cheap brands you use in the name of nylon. Don't bring me up for Soul Spice and Dr. Defon Care. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. If you're just joining, I want to say welcome. I do want you to feel bad. Just, you know, give yourself a hug and. You know, yeah, it's good. It's okay. You have missed a whole lot, but at the same time, you're still going to be with us for the next few minutes, and that's fine. Tonight, I have with me a very special guest. Her name is Dr. Defunke, and we're talking about STIs and sex, right? So, um, Dr. Defunke, the number to call is right on the TV screen. We're, we're going to be opening the phone lines now um, just for the next few minutes, right? And uh, whilst that is being done, so we're talking about condoms. Yeah, very. before we went on break to all those people using cheap condoms, right? Now, things are expensive, mm -hmm. extremely expensive. I, I know condom used to be like maybe like 50 naira or 51 five. Then, in those days, right? 50 Caleb, one, five. how much was condom in those days? <coughs> Excuse me, you're a virgin. Oh, now you're a virgin. I bought how much was condom in those days. I, you guys don't use condom, you just masturbate or what? Hope you are practicing safe sex. Yeah. With nylon, right? No, Holy bug. <laughs> Woo! Holy bug, right? <laughs> so the, the, I, I know it was it was it was not that expensive, yeah. you know, in those days. But now I'm hearing 300, 500, and I'm one the one five. So mm -hmm. to knock a bit friends now. Mm -hmm. You go and buy one five. Please don't reuse condom. Or don't have, you know all these memes online that you see them spreading condoms. They mm -hmm. wash out spread condoms. But, but, but you know, okay, so, so apart from condoms now, what about um, reusable extenders? So they are in form of condoms, mm -hmm. right? But they are thicker than condoms. Okay. Right? Some are light like condoms, but they are thicker than condoms and you can use them and wash them again and again. Do you wear it like yes, condoms? Yes, you wear it. I don't know about those though. I didn't care. We need to let you know. <laughs> we need to open your eyes. Wow. Openly. But and they're not called condoms. No, no, they're, they're not like... condoms. Um, some call them reusable condoms. Okay. You know they're reusable condoms, and some they call them um, extenders, reusable extenders. I want to see if I have a picture. Okay. As long as it's protecting you from yeah. STI. Okay. That's what it looks ah, like. But guys will not like so, this. So. so they also come with spikes. But you, they won't like this because it will desensitize them. You know, a lot of people... So, that... so they like it because it makes them last longer. Okay. For people not... that have erectile dysfunction. Yeah, they are not coming quickly so they can last as long as the well, ones... Well, are they feeling the sensation of... That's another thing. Because this yeah, looks very... That, because this is very thick. Are, are you feeling... Kelly, do you feel it? Because it's very thick. Oh, I don't... That's you know why... what? It's not giving. But I thought you just said you were very some minutes ago. He's telling he's not giving that he's the one that is wearing it. He's no, but actually, it doesn't look like. But let me see something. No, no, but, it but looks it, like but, there's a hole in, on top. No, some have holes, right? E? Some do, some don't. No, the holes is not is not acceptable. This is why. I think this is just for pleasure. I don't think this is for protection from. So, so there are different types, right? There. Are di let me let me look for the pick ones for you so that you have an idea of what. I'm sure Dr. David, like, hey, what's this on this one? I'm, I'm like, oh, I have to go and cleanse my eye with them. <laughs> so these, <laughs> these are extenders. These are what they look like, right? Oh, okay. So these ones are for probably men who have short penis. You want to feel okay. longer. You wear it. Some have holes. Some don't have holes. So these ones, you can reuse them for at least four or five years. 
you don't have to um, trash them. I don't think this can replace condom, to be honest, because I'm thinking that the function, mm. this was created for people that have, like, like you said, small penises. It's yeah. for functionality, not for protection. Yeah, but the other one I showed, that transparent one, is... As long as there's no, no opening, nothing. Because the point is that we're trying to prevent, like, body, um, what do you mean, vaginal fluid, yeah. and do you understand? So if there are holes in it, nah, just just stick to condom. <laughs> just stick to condom, really. So if you, if you must buy condom, this buy good condom. And then on the on this condom matter, it's very important that you know men they store condom in their wallets. Nigeria is very hot, and the latex material oh. that this thing is made of can also like dig it like can, it can break it. It can up, break yeah. down. It can have micro tears, little little holes that you cannot even see with your eyes, and there are holes in it as well. So. The storage of condom also matters, and please don't use. So, so no wallet. So, what, what would you advise people what to keep? That I, I, don't, I know people are always hiding condom, but keep it in. Don't space. keep it under your car seat. Exactly. Don't keep it where it will be hot, heat. Because car seats, when you lock that car, heat. Yeah, heat. And then another thing I would like to emphasize on is also um, people's choice of lubricant. You should use water, water-based lubricant as yeah. we're preaching condom to protect STI. We should also make sure you're not just using condom that is not infected. So lubricant should be water. So it's not going to be using oil, anointing oil, power oil as lubricant. Saliva. It's going to break down ah, the condom. No saliva. It's going to break down the condom. No saliva. Trust me. Um, <coughs> the truth is you need to understand what you want, right? There are, there are so many lubricants. Even though we talk about water-based a lot, there are so many. You have silicone-based. You have, you have um, oil-based. You have... Um, uh, What's the name of this one now? You have hybrid. There's so many lubricants. But the thing is, if you have to use a condom, there are some condoms that you can use hybrid lubricants with. Mm. That's for high class people. You have to have money for that kind of condom. To have mm. money for that kind of lubricant. Okay. It's not, you know, the normal kind of lubricant. But for a normal person, right, or the normal lubricant you will find mm -hmm. off the shelf, right, please stick to water-based lubricants. Yeah. And for those of you who want to try out anal sex, don't use water-based lubricant for anal sex. Go and buy anal lubricant. It is very important. There is a reason there is lubricant for the asshole. You have to <laughs> learn that. Don't go and use the water-based and it will go dry faster. The anal-based lubricant is more, uh, is softer and it lasts longer than the water-based. Now, one tip I'm going to be giving you today is for those who have um, water-based lubricant, right, if you use water-based and you find that halfway down the line it goes dry, if you have ice cube or you have water, just sprinkle a little of water and your water-based lubricant comes back to life. You don't have to take another one. None of the things are very expensive. I tell people, I, I, I did a post, um, I think yes or two days ago, where I said 10 things you can do this period, you know, 10 sexual things you can do with, um, during this heat. You must have ice cube. Mm. Like, there is nothing bad in having ice cube. If you don't have a fridge, just get the ice cube plate. Mm. You, know, you know you're about to get it and just put it. So mm. that when you're sweaty, you can use the ice cube, you know, to stimulate the chest, to stimulate the penis. You can pop one in your mouth and give blowjob. STI, STI. You can pop one in your mouth and give blowjob with your <laughs> partner, STI. with your husband. You so, can put ice cube in your vagina and write, let the place feel cold and the water so comes down. We're talking about STI today. It's STI now. <laughs> This is for married people. Fair enough. But even can get as a married person. So what are we saying? Hundred percent. Which makes it worse because you feel like if you're married, you're safe. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Once you're married, you're expected to be that's, safe. That's the biggest. Any one. day, you shouldn't be bothered about anything. You're probably as even a more person. vulnerable, Seth. Yeah. Because you're living in ignorance. You're not likely to use protection with your partner because they are married. So, but if you have a partner outside, you are more likely. To mm. want to use protection, why well, do you start using condom with your partner? I'm trying to imagine my husband say, Come on, let's use condom. Like, ah, what are you? Condom about. Exactly. So you're, even, you're even more vulnerable, you actually. Nah, it's not about. It has to be straightforward. <laughs> the way God has created Adam and raw, me. fresh, undiluted. So spice. So... The spice is hitting me up. <laughs> How hot? They are burning me. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> no, I don't mean it that way. You, 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 you said it. You said it. Oh, my God. Anyways. Um... <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Yes, we need Jesus. <laughs> I've got Jesus. 
<laughs> and the bad thing is, or the best thing is, Jesus have asked me to go into the world and multiply. He told you yeah, to go into the world. And so for you to go and multiply, you need to have multiple seconds. Did he say you should multiply multiple. your offspring or multiply your productivity? Ah, multiply, multiply your action. It's not your action. Multiply offspring. your action. It's your productivity. Hey, hey, what, what will be productivity? How is that productive? What, 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 what will make you productive without multiple orgasms? No, about that though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I don't know. Well, about anyways, Doctor Dave Funkesh is a virgin, and I am also a senior virgin. You know, and it's 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 a good thing when two virgins actually meet, right? Um, we are following, we are doing God's work, and all we what, all we do is save lives, right? And that's what we are doing. Are yeah. you saving lives? I'm for saving lives. The same way we are bringing lives. <laughs> Oh my God, so Anyways, we're talking about STIs and sex, and trust me, it's been a very fantastic night. I know you know, right, that you just can't go to sleep. And to all of you watching me this night that have let this TV show to go and get down because of one thing or two that we have said, pregnancy is just in Jesus' name. I've always <laughs> said it, nobody gets down until when I'm done with the show. If you go and have a dream my show, pregnancy will follow. Amen. Whether you want it or not. If you like, say you have tied your tube, you have done it, mm -hmm, it's not our business. Okay, back back to SAI, right? Now we have talked about, you know, the the um, curable, the ones that, you know, you have to treat, mm. the ones you really can't, you know, you can treat, but still, you know, yeah. still have a little bit of it now. Are there any STIs that probably people would have mm -hmm. and might not know for a number of years? No, actually, all the STIs, you, uh, not all STIs will actually show symptoms. That is where the problem lies. Mm. Because most people, or a lot of people, will be, we call them asymptomatic. They will not show symptoms. Thank you for um, reminding me because that is extremely important because those are the people that we're more afraid of. Those are the ones that are actually spreading it more because what you don't know, you keep spreading it now. Yeah, do you true. get but if you know that you have an STI, the yeah. probability you have a conscience now, mm. you won't want to spread it, do you understand? So it's the asymptomatic areas that are the greatest burden, actually. They're the ones that are spreading it more. And men are more likely to be asymptomatic, do you understand? So is that, is that they don't know they have it or their body <coughs> just don't carry it or show it early? And the thing is that, it's not, of course, they won't know they have it because they're not showing symptoms. It's just like the you, said, you talked about the married man that said, that, ah, nothing, we can't have it. Yeah. He might yeah. not have it and he's not showing symptoms. It might be some mm -hmm. years down the line, maybe something happens, his immunity drops and all that. Even HIV, why do people die from AIDS? Some people don't even know that. That's why we You've preach, for years. check your, exactly. Some people had the AIDS that is killing them now, maybe eight years ago. Mm. Do you understand? And then it's when it becomes AIDS, that's when they detect it. So sometimes they're just living their normal life and they have carried... Spreading. Exactly. And they have, they, they, they have the STI, but because they haven't checked for it, they won't know they because they're not showing symptoms. But if you're lucky enough to show symptoms, then good for you and your partner. So this is why we always say people should get checked every Ex year. Exactly. I know, 100%. I know, I, I know things are Pregnant hard. women, once you're even pregnant, because we know you have had sex, it's part of the checks. We'll do HIV, we'll do hepatitis, we'll I, do I syphilis. Do my, my daughter is one, so... No, 100%. Before yeah. delivery, though. For, for next time, I even, I, uh, we always, myself and my husband, will always run full tests okay. once a year. Oh, that's fantastic. Full every year. You know, check everything, breast, you know, everything checkable. That's fantastic. We check because, of course, I want to live long. <laughs> we all and do. I want to have plenty of sex, so... Oh, I need goodness. to be sure my body is intact. I don't want any... <laughs> so sweet. Ah. Different case. That's a sure show. How many lives do I have? One. We are not a cat. We are growing. <laughs> Soon all these things will be shrinking. Yeah. So if I don't use it now, it's when I'm 80. Before it uh, after the degenerates. Month, if you are not available when we are 80, vibrator will be available. <laughs> Vibration is a must have. Orgasm. Look at and shock yourself. Oh. We'll be shocking. Okay, we'll use battery. We'll be okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for coming. You've thank you been. So much. Do you know I you spent two hours with me? Oh, really? Wow. It felt like 45 minutes. 
Yeah. That is fantastic because time. Because it's sex, right? Not because it's sex, because you have a very lovely personality. Because you're so enjoying it. it. Because I enjoyed you. <laughs> not the me. sex talk. No, not what you. What part of me? No, you. As a wow. person. Oh, my God. We need, to be, my stuff. We, need, we need to be very sure of the kind <laughs> of me that she enjoys. You know, right? <laughs> anyway, I think that the, 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 I don't think that she's not used to us. If she, used if she's used to, to us, she will know that there's some words and everything you get to say can be used against against you, you in this court of orgasm. Trust me, when I like it. Of orgasm, oh so, what God. would be your last word to people at home before you leave? Yeah, my last word is first of all, I like to talk to parents. Let's start from the grassroots. Try and educate our kids. Let them know because if we don't talk about it, even cartoons now actually talk about sex. So they are getting that information from somewhere. So let's brace up the courage. I know that it can be quite embarrassing, but let's brace up the courage and educate our kids. And we, the adults, please let's practice safe sex. And, and I would just like to leave on the note that there's nothing like 100% abs like abstinence, meaning that abstinence is the way forward. Abstinence, the only way you can protect yourself 100% from STI is abstinence. That's the 100% guarantee we have protecting yourself from STI. So that's it. Thank you so much for having me. Hmm. Had a fantastic it. time. In the shortest form, stay away. <laughs> Keep your penis Simple. in your boxers. Dear woman, no matter the wetness, do not shit that pant. Do not shit that pant. It's very sweet. Five minutes. Sweetness. But you see, everlasting regret. So think about it, right? It is very easy, it's very sweet. But then, like I always say, you cannot drink hot ice cream, even though it's sweet, it will burn you. Mm. You have to keep your ice cream in the fridge or in the freezer, leave it for a couple of hours to get cold. That way you would enjoy what the real ice cream is supposed to be. The same thing happens with sex. It is sweet, no doubt. But if you take it at the wrong time, it probably will burn you. And it will, some burns never end, right? So the truth is, calm down. You see this says, you go fuck your death, calm down. See, they go, they beg you, say, I'm tired. No, you're not tired. You cannot be tired. Ask it a different thing. She knows what it means, right? 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you know. Even, except, except when she's at work. But when she's at home, 6 a.m., she has no choice. Spread this thing, Joe. Let us... Let us praise God in between. Anyway, so um, this is me saying, enjoy your life, right, but use your sense. Because at the end of the day, whatever it is you go through, only you will feel the pain. I might understand, I might, you know, oh, sorry, you're going through it, but it's not only you, whenever you don't go, not only you and God remain. So at the end of the day, live a worthy life. Because you see, sex is fantastic. And I would prefer you do it right so that for the rest of your life, you can get it. You can hang on the chandelier, hang on your, you know, <laughs> window, anything you want to do. But do it at the right time because that way it's more worthy and then you would love the experience. On this, I'm going to be saying, do you have a fantastic night? So, like, come your way again. I remain your one and only Anna Jonathan, a.k.a. So Spicy Sex for us. Remember, sex is life. And so treat your life like that's all you own because that's really all you have. I love you all. See you next time. Same station, same place next week. Love you. Bye. Now you can go have sex. Bye.